Today is Monday, 21st of June, and uh, it's a quarter past noon, and I'm making my first ever writing vlog. <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm going to try and do them uh, once a week uh, this summer, just to kind of keep me accountable for my goals. I have a seven week summer break because I just finished my first year of working full time as a teacher. Um, and I am very tired and I should probably relax <laughs> during the holiday, but I have a lot of goals that I want to work on. So just um, checking in with my phone every once in a while will be good, I think, to just make sure that I actually do the things that I have planned. I'm going to send my first book to print, so yay! Um, I'm going to launch the website for the book project and also finish the EP for the book project. And here you can see we have some other goals here that maybe aren't that important, but still they need to be on the list. The most important goal is to write the first draft of my second book. And that's why I'm making these vlogs, because uh, that's a big project and I've talked about it a lot. Um, I kind of feel like I've talked about it so much that I feel like I have already started, but I haven't. I haven't written anything, so that is going to happen soon. I have already started making writing vlogs, as you can see, so uh, that's going well. <laughs> Today, my goals are um, I'm going to get some groceries <laughs> and uh, I'm going to finish reading the last uh, PDF thing of my book in and make the last notes and send them to my editor and then we're going to have a meeting i think talking about the notes um so that's going to happen today but i am postponing it so i am proofreading the last version of the book and uh the problem is that i thought that there would be like one final version that i was completely happy with um <laughs> but that's not going to happen I, I don't think that is normal. Um, I think you always want to change something and you just kind of need to know when to stop. Uh, so I'm having a hard time balancing, wanting to pick all the sentences apart, wanting to move all the illustrations around and doing them again. <laughs> and, uh, and also just like not wanting to do anything and just like send it in and go on with my life and start writing the next book. So uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, hard work. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm trying. And I didn't think that I was someone who had like a problem with imposter syndrome um, because I like wasn't pretending to be professional. I always like post as an amateur. So how could I be an imposter because I, I wasn't trying to fool anyone. Uh, but that in itself is an imposter syndrome problem, I think, because um, I'm not like daring to hold myself up to the same standards as I hold professional people. And um, now I'm going to publish a book through a professional publishing house. And I have written it and I've also illustrated it for some reason. <laughs> they let me do that. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, it's, it's stressing me out. And I want it to be as good as like other books, normal books. I don't know, professional books. But it's so scary to like think that I have made it and that it could be as good as other books. And I get scared that I will be like figured out and they will find out that oh she isn't a real illustrator and she isn't an author. She's just like someone who's trying and doing random things. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't like it. I like to just be safe within my own amateur bubble and uh, and not expose myself as someone who's trying to be a professional. I don't know if that made sense, but um, that makes it very uncomfortable to try to read through this like final version and uh, and just be happy with it. I think most of it looks good. Uh, if I'm pretending that someone else made it, I would be like, yeah, sure, this is this is fine. Um. So what I'm actually doing, uh, if you're curious, um, is that I'm reading it on the screen and I'm just like taking notes of every page number where there is something that I'm not completely happy with. I haven't seen any typos yet, but if I see some typos, I will also write them down and I'm just going to send that list to my editor. Because uh, I don't know how to comment in a PDF, because uh, I'm unprofessional. 
I don't know, because I, I don't know. Um, so I'm just giving her a list. And uh, that is it. Hey, boop. I finished reading all of the pages yesterday and I found 29 things that I wanted to fix. Um, and this morning I had a meeting with my editor and she agreed on the 29 things and she also had a few things of her own. So we talked through everything and then I fixed some of the illustrations again. <laughs> I draw all of the illustrations in Procreate and then she has to open them in Photoshop and kind of export them again. I don't know how to use Photoshop, I have never tried it, but I'm thinking I'm actually going to invest in Photoshop uh, just on this whole kind of being a professional uh, journey, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll even start to edit my videos in Final Cut Pro, we'll see. I will get to see it once more before it goes to print and I'm also going to get some pages in the mail with some different paper types because we cannot decide on paper, it's so hard. Uh, so I'm going to like see them physically. My editor is in Bergen and I'm in Oslo, so uh, I can't really meet her. I've actually never met her in person, which is weird. But um, yeah, she's sending me some pages so that I can look at how they look physically. Today I'm going to celebrate my mom's birthday and uh, it's actually pride week in Oslo so I think I'm going to go out a bit um, and I won't actually do any writing for my next book this week. I'm just going to do all of the planning and stuff I'm thinking. Just like collecting all of my ideas for my next book sort out all of my notebooks and make a playlist and make a pinterest board and tidy the apartment <laughs> my favorite youtuber struthless or campbell which is his name says that the way you do anything is the way you do everything and by that he means that if you just postpone like everyday boring tasks that means that you're also going to postpone your actual important work so i'm going to apply that theory and uh, stop postponing things <laughs> and just like take the everyday task seriously so that i show that i can show up for my actual goals like in the background here you can see like a lot of bags <laughs> <laughs> this is from when we uh, tidied out our closet a couple of months ago and the thing where you put secondhand clothes was full so we just left it there and then it's been there forever so I'm going to like do those things this week to show up for my work it's not procrastination it's um, proving that I take things seriously yeah I'm going to do my eyeliner now it's kind of hard while I talk and also, this is my first week of vacation, so I think it's fine to just take it slow and gather inspiration and uh, watch some YouTube and just like chill, get my affairs in order, you know. <laughs> so that is the plan for today and this week. And then I will be all ready to outline the book next week. Paper has arrived. It is Thursday and I've gotten quite a lot done actually yesterday and today. Look over here. Yay! <laughs> no bags. And I also tidied the whole desk so I can show you. This is the new notebook for my new project and uh, this is the mirror with some kind of 
inspirational <laughs> things on it. I usually put post-it notes on the mirror um, for to-do lists and inspiration and <laughs> stuff. Um, but then I can't see myself, so that's why I have a second mirror. And I finished the Pinterest board for my new project. So I printed out just a few pieces. Um, and this is just something to kind of get me going when I'm going to start right next week. I'm, I also tidied like everything else, so it feels nice. And my typewriter has a place under here, much more accessible than in the box. She still needs to be covered up because I don't want her to get like a lot of dust on her. Ooh, this is a good angle. <laughs> oh, and another thing. I went and bought some new post-it notes and look, they fit like perfectly in this little box thing. So now they're super accessible. I always write on post-it notes uh, when I'm planning out things because it's easy to move around. And that's also why I got this uh, notebook with like a sp circle spine thing. <laughs> Sp what's it called? Spiral spine? I don't know because when it gets like super thick because of all the post-it notes, um, it still can lay flat. So yeah, maybe it sounds weird that I pay so much attention to like the Pinterest board and everything, but I actually find it really helpful. Even though I'm now writing a sequel, so it's the same universe and everything. Um, but when I started making a new board for the new project, I kind of realized the different vibe or whatever from the first book um and i can show you like on the screen so you can see the difference but i think this is really helpful to just get in the feeling and also just like as a ritual to make a pinterest board make a playlist and then just get in the mindset of the new project so i do think it's helpful and i'm happy that i did it because now i'm super motivated to start writing i'm going to test out the playlist because it needs to be tested um on a walk so i'm going to take a walk and test the playlist um and um, and that's on my to-do list today so uh, let's write the to-do list so we're going to take a walk and we're going to collect the notes for the project in the book because i have like scattered notes and, and things on my phone and stuff and I'm going to try and edit three videos. That's ambitious, but I aim high, you know. I have a lot of pre-filmed videos that I haven't edited and ed edited, edited, edited. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, and um, it would be really nice to just have them done so I can focus on writing next week. Um, and I also got the final, final version of my book today, so I'm going to read through it and uh, see if there are any typos or things that are just wrong. I can't change sentences anymore, but if something is super off, then I can I can tell. So, yeah. Uh, so, um, I'll try to do all of this today, and if I can't finish today, I'm going to do it tomorrow, but I'm thinking that I'm going to end the vlog today, because uh, I have a lot of weekend plans and stuff, so I can just... Um, edit the vlog, upload it next week, and then start writing, and um, I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know if this was um, interesting <laughs> at all, and also um, I, I, I'm not completely married on the idea of speaking English in these vlogs. It seems more natural to do it in English, um, <laughs> but I can like check the analytics and whatever, and if everyone who watches <laughs> are Norwegian, then I will try and switch. Um, but yeah, comment if you have uh, any opinions about that. And also comment if there are some specific things you would like to see in the writing vlogs, because I'm going to actually be writing <laughs> next week. So uh, yeah, let me know uh, what you're interested in. And uh, that's it for this um, talking update um, portion of the video. Yeah. If you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, that's it. I hope you'll have a really nice rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye.